Okay, what I have here is uh, my honey badger finally completed with the 10.3 ballistic advantage barrel. So I'm going to go over some features and add-ons that I put on on this uh, pistol because it is a pistol at this point until I get the uh, tax stamp for uh, an SBR. So got it all completed and ready to go. I've been shooting with it for a uh, few times and been working really well. Uh, what I have up here on the front, that's where I'm going to start. This is the Genki Hill uh, Phantom flush hider. Then up here I have the Dark Earth Magpul front sight and rear of course. This is a 9 inch uh, UTG Super Slim Pro handguard. Really nice by the way I really like it. Um, then of course the inside that's the barrel that's a 10.3 uh, Hansen from a Ballistic Advantage. Up here I have the EOTech EXPX 2.0. Um, I have a 223 wild uh, dust cover in here. Uh, 30 round P mag with window, as you can see. And this is my uh, lower, a Spice Tactical Honey Badger lower. The Dark Earth um, trigger guard. The trigger or the lower part kits is a CMMG. The safety selector is a Seekins Precision Dark Earth Safety Selector and that's really nice. I really like that one. Uh, the pistol grip is the K2 from Magpul. It's also pretty nice grip. Uh, pretty comfortable. like it. And of course color fill. What I use in here is a uh, model paint testers, I believe that's the brand uh, to color fill this. And of course, you can see what it says right there because honey does the honey badger. Um, back here and the rear, I have the Torsen Customs uh, cheek rest. Uh, pretty comfortable, and that's the way it's going to stay as a pistol until I get this tax stamp. Up here on the top, I have the BCM. Uh, gunfighter uh, charging handle as the ambi also really nice item um, so that's all on this side so we're gonna flip it over to the other side and uh, look at the side the other side see what it looks like okay this is the view from the other side okay once again all the items that I just mentioned and the EOTech I chose to get the one with the buttons on the side just in case I want to run a magnifier and I do have a magnifier at home which but hardly ever use that okay here is the honey badger uh, color fill I went with the tan or darker up on the top of the head Rare, uh, red ears and eyes the rest of it is white so it turned out to be pretty good. I like it. Uh, the mag release, mag, uh, or I'm sorry, the bolt catch is a uh, phase five. Uh, the one that I can't remember what they call this one, the ambi, I believe it is. But anyway, it's the phase five. And then this is the other side of the sequence precision safety selector. And of course, this is the, oh, I can't remember what, if it's a 60, I believe it's a 60. 45 or 60 degree selector because it doesn't go all the way up and down like the normal one. Uh, so this is really convenient when you're shooting to put it on fire or safe, one or the other. So I really like it. And this is the other side, just uh, wanted to give you a view of the other side. Oh, and uh, one th little thing that I really like uh, as a cover, they call it a scope coat for my uh, EXPX uh, EOTech. It looks kind of ugly out here, but when you put it on, it looks uh, really nice and it's a uh, tight fit. I'm just going to uh, slap it on real quick in here to show you what it looks like. So there, there it is. Uh, looks pretty nice all together there. So anyway, this is a complete uh, review of the Honey Badger uh, 
from a Spikes Tactical. One thing that I do have on the mail coming is an upper receiver from a Spikes Tactical. This is the Aero Precision upper. Really nice and it works fine. No issues whatsoever with it. Looks really nice, but I like to keep all the uh, parts kind of together from one brand to the next. So in this case, I got a, a Spikes lower, so I decided to order the a Spikes upper receiver and put them together there. So anyway, that's the complete uh, review of the Honey Badger, which uh, soon it'll be a SBR.